Just want to throw this in the video before it gets started, but uh, my official Crowdmade merch store is up. So you can go down in the description and go to that. Also, you can go to my YouTube page, go to the store tab and click on the merch there. But yeah, this is just the start of that. We got Fitzsimmons stuff, multiple different styles. We got t-shirts, sweaters, jackets. We got some Daisy Johnson Quake merch. And I got an artist to make the Turtle Man Mac logo for my merch. So head over to the Crowdmade, go check out all that. Back to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're on season four, I almost said one, then I almost said three. Episode 18. And this arc so far has probably been my favorite in the whole series, even though it's, we've only gotten two episodes of it. I'm not even lying, like I literally love this stuff. We're getting to see alternate versions of all of our characters. Evil fits, May is exactly the same, but evil. That's uh, that's kind of disappointing, honestly. The May stuff is kind of disappointing. She's not acting differently. She's not even really dressing differently. So I will say that's the only disappointing part. But yeah, I'm just going, ooh, ah, I like literally everything in this because there's so many Easter eggs too. Like I'm noticing like Hydra posters in the background. I just want to keep pausing and like reading them, seeing what all the changes are to this reality. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. We got introduced to Madam Hydra. We got Radcliffe captured by Hydra last episode, as well as Daisy. So they're being tortured right now. Mac went to the playground and wants to help out S.H.I.E.L.D. And I think Simmons is about to break the truth to everyone at the playground about what's really going on, whether they'll believe her or not. Coulson in this reality seems to not care that anyone's going to miss him if he gets out of here because he knows it's all fake. Uh, I don't think that'll be so easy for other people, especially Mac is what I'm worried about. He won't want to leave hope behind, but who knows? Also in this reality, I wonder what time period they're exactly in. Like, is Ghost Rider a thing? I mean, there's always a Ghost Rider out there, but is Robbie in this framework? And is he currently Ghost Rider? Or is this taking place before he's Ghost Rider? Or after, did he already die in this reality? I don't know. I wonder if they can find him. There's so many characters that could potentially come back. I don't think they will, because we don't really need them. But off the top of my head, I feel like I won't be disappointed if they don't because I'm not going to get my hopes up in that way. But I just think it would be cool. Obviously, there's got to be some leader of the Inhumans in this universe that could be Jiang. We could still get Andrew. We could still get Reyna back. Like, I'm just thinking out of the box, like the most random characters that could appear. Of course, Robbie Reyes, Hunter, and Bobby. Um, I'd be excited if any of them returned, but they might not. Who knows? Anyways, let's journey back into the framework. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers in 2024. If you want to watch early episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you can hit the join button down below, become an honorary Marlian. Let's hop into the episode. admire you for volunteering for this, Colson. We need all the fresh faces we can get for undercover work. Huh? Yeah, I could do an accent. Or another language, maybe. The Spanish is mucho bueno. Just act natural. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the bus and open up. Hopefully Sky's on board. Well, she might be if she's been assigned to re-education at one of Hydra's prison camps, but rescuing Sky is not the mission. There's another prisoner I want to find. Really? Squidmobile coming your way. Here we go. Squidmobile. <laughs> Who is he looking for? Where did he drop down from? <laughs> is there an overpass? I don't think she's on here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I hope not. Wow. It's probably just a bunch of dead inhumans in there. I wonder if he was look looking for you, like, and human he knows, maybe Yo-Yo or something. Replaced? Is that what she told you? Somehow, you conquered Hydra in your world and now you it's want It's completely to like the opposite of uh, when the robots were replacing people within S.H.I.E.L.D. They kind of think she's... I mean, she is. She woke up in the bathtub. There was another sky in this world. She just took over her body and mind. So they're not completely wrong, but come on. Because if anyone could get you to wake mm -hmm. up... And realize that this That's what I'm saying. isn't real. It's her. It's your brain up. <laughs> the or the stick. When neither motivates the truth, we face. Yeah, that's what they say in the SSR. Choices. 
The truth is we may have a weapon that can beat him, but there are risks involved. It's only a risk if you have something to lose. If Yara's body's in one of those bags, that could wake him up. Would she be in in here? I mean, the dark hole. Yeah, yeah, it created everybody equally just because her body wasn't only their body on the outside being uploaded to the framework would mean that they take over the other person's body that's in here. Yo-Yo does exist in this world. The dark hold made that a, a thing. One of our operatives got caught trying to smuggle out intel on a new Hydra weapon. They've got him locked up at the center. The bus is our way in. No, sir. I'm on it. Yes. Binary ones and zeros can't die, nor do they feel the cold. Maybe we keep that part between us. We're wasting time. We should be focused on getting Daisy back and escaping this horrible well, we place. Can't. But who knows on the outside how many other people it has captured and uploaded here, you know? Those could be real people dying. If you put it like that, the real world, he'll never buy it. The doctor, the creepy robots, the blue soap, none of it. There's no blue soap. <laughs> he keeps bringing that up. <laughs> what is it about that guy? Every time I see him, I get this weird itch. Like hives. Hives. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you crushed his chest with your cybernetic arm and left him for dead on an alien planet, so no. <laughs> Awkward. He's Here he is. Me, he? He's behind me. Okay. Okay. As much as I hate that, he's right behind me, isn't he? That one was done pretty well. That's about the delivery, I guess. I this guy again. Okay. But hey. can make you in I mean back when we saw this guy, that's when Bobby showed up. Bobby, come back, please. With a it's drop of peppermint. Based, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. This is made from various metabolic enhancers, a gorilla testosterone, even a dash of peppermint. Peppermint. <laughs> I knew it. Dose, you will have the Patriot begging for his life. Wow. A team that trusts is a team that triumphs. <laughs> That's a little cheesy. You had to yeah. <laughs> Coffee mugs. Oh, I realize how it sounds. No it's one so different in this world. Avatar in a digital prison, but sometimes that happens, and here we are. In your world, where am I from? Uh, I'm not sure. The, the Midwest. Well, am I married? Do I have kids? Any siblings? Hobbies? Do I cook? Where are you going with this? You don't know me. At all. Not well enough, apparently. Tell some of your secrets. I'm from Brooklyn, son of a plumber. Played baseball in college and guitar. Can't carry a tune. I say soda, not pop, and I like my barbecue sweet, not spicy. Normal people say soda, not pop. So buried seventeen. Of my That's good. Friends and family. So buried seventeen. Right in my arms. Holy Mace backstory. Believing they were fighting for something real, and you're telling me it's meaningless. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get these people back. How do you know it's not the other way around? Oh You're my god. Because it's not possible. Where is your proof? I don't need proof. This can't be real. Huh. Because the man I love would never execute someone in cold blood. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Don't gaslight her. Come on. I heard there was an issue with the project looking glass. I'd like you to check in with security, see what happened. Of course. Okay, well, the scary thing is with Ada in here creating a project looking glass that could lead oh my gosh that could lead to these people in here becoming sentient and getting to the other side like evil fits on the other side with normal fits being there too that could lead to something crazy like that i would love that so much maybe yeah maybe ada on the outside is preparing robot bodies for all these framework version of the characters to go on to the outside in lmd bodies oh my gosh Anything's possible. I don't know. All I did was fix one thing in everyone's life. A regret. Yeah, one thing changes a lot. The world is simply a consequence of your actions. This is why men you sadistic witch. Guard. She can hear? I mean, he can hear her? Dr. Radcliffe is clearly still suffering the consequences of the errors he made. Make all the pain go away. <laughs> You have no idea what that is. Lincoln Campbell. Huh. He's here. Think of it. You can live a peaceful life. Yeah, she could get addicted to this. That's what I was afraid of. All together. With no memory of what's happened here or there. I don't know if it'd be real enough. 
when she knows the truth. Maybe if you kill her, this all ends. <laughs> Probably not. Because sometimes what people want isn't right for them. I can fix that. And what do you get out of all of this? What everyone else has. A real sentient life body. A choice. She just wants to be human. Well, I noticed the bus had a comm system, so I decrypted it and synced it up with this. So now we can listen in on Hydra's transmission. They're gonna have the they bus? Still some intel. <laughs> Fitz? The guy from my history book? Honestly, you really shouldn't pay much attention to what's in there. I taught it for years. It's more Oh, gosh. Than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, she yeah, didn't know he was here. Like... I'm sorry, have we met? Phil uh... Coulson. <laughs> I was here when you first came in. This is Gemma Simmons. Oh, it's good to meet you. This little girl right here, this is my daughter, Hope. He's gonna be extra hard to convince. Nice to meet you, British lady. British lady. By the way, I was looking up British accents, how many there are. There's like 160 or like more. There's so many. Also, I thought the UK was as big as the US. I don't know geography. Just had to swap the photo, change the name. Jamie Flugelman? At least it's not Theo Tittle. Was that what it was back in season one? Theo Tittle. Why do I remember the stupidest stuff? Haven't been down here in a while. Is that his dad? How's the project going? Seems like it is. Are you all right, son? Yeah. You look troubled. Wow. Well, <sighs> he's got a lot on his mind. I guess. A woman. He does think she's lying to him. He's believing what all of them are saying. So his one regret in this life is that he actually got close to his father and listened to him. And uh, yeah, that's what it seems like. He's actually close with him. <laughs> Hydra Enlightenment Cultivation Center. Sneaking bodies in. But that story this is on a Bakshi good plan. News the other day, that in human they found Bakshi News? <laughs> so weird. Just a pause. Everything here tastes like tofu! Oh, <laughs> Is it actually? Hydro, hydro vegans? My dignity, my pride! My... Like this. Oh, that's the whole reason he created this place too. That's crazy to think about. He really was trying to do a good thing. But that stupid dark hold. Because that Cause he's not fit. Yeah. Regret can't change an entire life it, it doesn't change who you are of course i can it's a butterfly effect one in your life one decision one sentence has the power to change you forever i believe that single sentence like i love you or we're having a baby or... please tell me that you built a back door to this place and that Ada hasn't destroyed it. I did. And she can't. Oh, okay, okay. She can't. But she can guard it heavily. Don't tell himself. Look at the way his dad walks. What the heck? He still somewhat fits in there. I can see it. What if I didn't need to kill her? What this is fit. Maybe she oh. wasn't lying, or maybe she was mentally ill or something. What if? Maybe. Now that's your mother talking. She was weak. Even saying sorry really makes fun of you for that. Being raised by his father instead of his mother changed him so much. Honestly, don't know what kind of man I'd be without you, father. <laughs> Hydra really ought to have a little more respect for the dead. <laughs> Coulson's a good driver of the bus. I just now realized what they were talking about. <laughs> I actually thought they were referring to the bus from season one. Um, wow, I just noticed this is the bus the whole time. Because I was thinking in my head for a second. Who did they get to drive the bus after Mac volunteered? And I'm like, wait, Colson's literally driving a bus right now. Jeez. Okay. Time to go. 
Thought I was done for. Oh, what? Bill Coulson. Trip. Meet Antoine Triplett. Whoa. Wait, when, with, with all the characters I was thinking that could return, and I was naming them, being like, I'm not going to get my hopes up, I did not expect Trip. Just because I feel like that would be so random, but I guess that, that's fine. That's cool. Since high school. Oh. How'd you know? Felt right. Everyone on the Felt bus. Felt right. He Let's knew. Go. As soon as I he find remembers my trip a little. Pair. It's not about the boots, it's what's in them. What's in the boots? Ah, we are we are we. She's getting cow's serum in her. Strength. Holy. This could be one scary May. That's why in my house, I'm the judge of what's fact or fiction. Did you clean your room? <laughs> Well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember those kendamas or whatever. Never had one, but kids would always. <laughs> what is his regret, actually? Did I kill someone? I guess it was switching sides, right? Maybe in this reality, he still was with Garrett. No. Was it trusting Garrett? Was it joining Garrett? What's the difference? Because Hydra completely has just changed over time in this reality that, like, his whole life was Hydra. So it's like, something really big is is his difference. His whole life would be different. For what it's worth. For whatever I did do. I'm truly sorry. The way he loves his kid. Of course. But doesn't that make it real? I don't know. That's what we've been trying to answer this whole season. What is real? I can't believe Trip's back. Hey, I'll What's in him? My grandfather was a Howling Commando. Yeah. Had an old school spy camera. Which you snuck into Hydra's labs? Nice. Took some pictures in the lab. Hit the film in my boot heel. The doctor's been working on a secret project. It's the looking glass. Humans from what I heard. Or not. Son of a... What kind of man steals another man's boots? Chris, what's that uh, building over there where they're headed? Quarantine. That's where they take all the kids. Oh, that kid's gonna be so impressed. <laughs> His teacher coming in to save the day. Coulson, what's he thinking? Oh, that's not good. Hydra sending a Quinjet, giving Beth as a hit team aboard. They know we're here. Oh, that's May on there, I think. May could kill Patriot in this world. Uh. Let's go, partner. How many people are in quarantine? Don't know. Never been inside. Move! There she is. Go get Coulson. I'll handle her. I've been waiting for this. I really Someone's feel like Mace might die here. Unless, of course, you're one of us now. Whoa. Double flip. <gasps> Box, she's here. Or uh, they're brainwashing the Inhumans. Take Who is that? Oh my gosh! They mark them. Oh no! They tape their eyes open. Oh my gosh! They're so evil in this world. Turn off the projector. Just tell me that bus hasn't left yet. Ah. Figured you couldn't beat him, so join him. Both these people, I don't want to die. Honestly, I'm not even lying. I'd rather have May die here. Mace has become such a cool character this season. I want him to make it out. Oh. You're a terrorist, a thug. If I was, you'd be dead right now. That's true, that's true. Mace. Good guy, Mace. I don't know who's in there. Does it matter? Yes, there's Bring children. Oh. Bring me the body. Paulson going to save virtual children in there. But it's like real at the same time. I feel like his juice might wear off soon. Come on. Oh my god. Simmons, get out of here. The whole place is about to come down. Wow, he's actually... Uh, 
He's actually a hero here. He's okay, he's in there. Right? Building's unstable, Agent May. You can't go in. I need verification that the Patriot's dead. Why the hell are there kids in here? She didn't know? Okay, a little more interesting. Where's the Patriot? Put that gun down. We need help here. There's a kid buried under that pile of rock. <laughs> He's saving kids, May, don't you see? You shoot him, we all die. We don't have time for this. We gotta save that kid. Form a chain, find something to prop up that beam. A lot of people are here right now. Help, but don't just stand there. Snap out of it, May. Snap out of it. <gasps> He'll be the one to wake you up. Wait. Oh. When it comes to saving a kid, that also helps. For waking May up. Yo, May still has some serum in her a little bit, right? She said it was wearing off, though. No way, Mace. No way Mace is gonna die here. Because of May, man. Make it out, mate. No, nope, he's not. She's gonna end it quick for him so he doesn't get crushed because of. Nope, she's leaving him. I was gonna say because she has her body cam on, but no. Yo, May actually just killed Mace in both worlds. No more. He was such a cool character. I mean, I knew we were going to lose some people in the framework. Just why does it have to be one of our characters killing one of the other ones? I hate that. It's so messed up. Huh. Oh my gosh, we're back to reality. She's connected with the same with Ophelia in there, right? Oh, Jeffrey's going to be no vitals. He gone. Yeah, flatlining. Wow. <sighs> Actually, what a powerful thing to see. <sighs> Showing his body becoming lifeless on the outside. Tell me everything. Is it true that you're an inhuman? Powerful enough to bring this whole damn place down. Oh. I hope so. <laughs> Whoa, 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 may I get it? Okay, wait, no, it doesn't have any of the definer stuff in it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we're gonna see her break out again. May. <laughs> her statue looks funny. It looks like it was smiling. Oh, that's so cool. Rest in peace, Patriot. Man. He was a great character this season. He really was. Loved his character arcs. Oh, I'm really gonna miss Patriot, dude. I really, really was liking him. Why can't they keep a character for more than one season? They gotta introduce them in that season and kill them off in the same one. I mean, not really. Okay, Mac's been here. Mac was introduced in season two. He stuck around. Andrew stuck around for a season, I think. Yeah, he was introduced in two, right? Before killing him off. Uh, Lincoln survived a whole season before being killed off the next one. There's been characters that have survived, but um, still. Something about certain characters that get introduced. They don't let them live a whole season. Ghost Rider and Mace this season could have gotten more of them. This isn't like Radcliffe dying on the outside where I'm like, okay, but it's fine because she's going to put him in the framework. No, this is him fully dying without getting any last words in the real world. Last we see of him is him heading into that Russian base and being captured by Ada, turned into a robot, put in the framework, and he dies in there and doesn't get to say anything to anyone on the outside. We just learned his whole story this episode too, like how he had to bury 17 of his closest family members and how he didn't really truly know that he had a life on the outside. He didn't believe Simmons, or he didn't know what to believe, but still, it's just sad. He was tortured put in the framework, and died in there. I hate that it had to be May that killed him too. Could have been some random Hydra person, but no. Now May's gotta live with that too. 
I'm glad that was enough to... I don't know if she's woken up yet, if that's actually May, but I would believe if it was enough for her to wake up, having a kid involved in a situation like that, being responsible for bringing that building down on kids, seeing that the people you were after this whole time were just trying to help, and the Hydra are the real villains. That would be enough to wake her up, but even if it's not her woken up, if that's just her in there switching sides because she realizes how terrible Hydra is, either way, still good. Still really good. More and more people every episode are coming together. And uh, once they're all together, somehow they got to get Fitz over there. Once they're all together, they can leave through wherever Radcliffe uh, made the gateway. I really think Fitz is going to be the only one that has to be there unwillingly. Like, I'm sure everyone else at this point can be convinced or has woken up. Fitz, they might just have to knock out and kidnap. I don't know. His life is too different. Something I'm wondering is, will Daisy get the same powers? I mean, I'm guessing she will. It would be a big shock if she uh, doesn't get the same powers here. But uh, as soon as she comes out of there, I wonder if she's going to be like weak Quake, the weak version that can't really control herself as much. Or since she is already trained with all of it and already knows how to control it, I wonder if she'll instantly be really good. But obviously without the arm gauntlets. At least she has Gemma here, right? Gemma can maybe design some of those for her. Also, another thing. <laughs> out of nowhere, Trip. Trip's back. What? Now, it's temporary because the framework we're obviously going to have to get out of within the next couple episodes. They've been in there a long time. Longer than I thought they were allowed to be. Especially May. Like, especially May. She's been in there for so long. I really think more of our characters that are inside there could end up dying, like, like May. She's been in there for so long, so... I really think she could die, and then we could just permanently have an LMD version of her, like, just upload her mind from the framework. Or just, not even from the framework, but her real mind. Put it in an LMD body, I don't know. I feel like someone else... Like, could they do that with Mace? Could Mace be an LMD still? Like, is there still hope? Or are LMDs off the tables now? They're going to ban them because they're just too dangerous at this point. I don't know. Maybe there's still hope for Mace. He's... I really, I really want that to be a thing. Like, just imagine if we can also upload Trip's mind. Or Ward. Good guy Ward. Good guy Grant. From inside the framework and make him an LMD body on the outside. Upload his mind to it and get a good guy Grant on the outside. I don't know. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting. There'd be a lot of people, though, that they would want to do that with on the outside, and it might not be fair to do that. It just might not be right. Or humane, or whatever. Another question I have, did Madam Hydra get to Daisy at all? Did she convince her that she can be with Lincoln? Or, like, what? Did she get to her head? I don't know. It just kind of cut away before they talked, so we don't really have answers to that. Getting that little glimpse at the end of the episode of the outside world makes me think that we're going to start getting a bit of both. Or maybe next episode will fully be on the outside. Probably not, but I do want to see what's going on out there. Like, what's the Russian head man up to? Head in a jar guy. What is Ada up to? Do they still have a bunch of daisy bots going around trying to recruit inhumans? Bring them to, to Ada or something? Is the playground all right? Uh, how much time is actually passing on the outside? Compared to inside the framework, I feel like it's one-to-one, -one, but maybe not. Is a yo-yo doing all right? Guarding the bodies in the Zephyr, I don't know. Lots of questions I want answered, but uh, yeah, hopefully we get to see a bit more of the outside world soon. But I'm loving it. I'm loving it inside the framework, so. The longer we stay here, the better for me, but also the more stressful. We've had two true framework deaths so far, and one person that's just in the framework and dead on the outside, which was Radcliffe. The two framework deaths. I guess Agnes was the same way, but now she's dead in the framework, so she's fully dead. Three people that don't exist on the outside anymore. But could, again, always be turned into LMDs, potentially. Anyways, I am thinking we're going to get Lincoln again, just because Madame Hydra uh, mentioned him. Whether she was talking about bringing Lincoln into this world, which I feel like he's probably already there. Or bringing, making him a, a body on the outside. I don't know what she was actually saying, but I feel like it was along the lines of making a body on the outside world for her. But that would be kind of creepy, kind of weird. I don't know. You could definitely see when she was talking about that in that moment that 
in Daisy's eyes. Like, she was seeing the good of what the framework was, how it can bring back loved ones and stuff. So I don't know if she's fully going to fall into it like that. I'm really loving the subtlety in the characters waking up scenes. Like, even though it might have not fully been May waking up there, I feel like it was because you can see in her facial expressions that she was like looking around noticing who everybody was. A little nod to Patriot as well, like, sorry I killed you, but massive respect, and I remember who you are. Maybe in that last moment, Patriot also remembered who everybody was, I don't know. But just a little subtle cues of when people are actually waking up and realizing who they are and who everyone else is. I really love those scenes. So, can't wait to see what everyone else's experiences are like. I feel like it's it's gonna be saddest when uh, Fitz wakes up and realizes what he's done, or Mac realizes he can't be with his daughter if he leaves. So, I'm excited, but kind of worried for those scenes. Anyways, this is so cool that they're bringing people back. Loving it a lot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the episodes as well. Definitely leave a like on the video if you are. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below in the comments. Hit the join button if you want to watch early episodes. And uh, that's it for this one. See you guys in the next one very, very soon.